Good morning from Steve's Backyard Bonsai. I just want to show you, this is the moss that I got from my little moss experiment where I grew it on a mesh and applied it like sod. This is the back side of it. I don't think you can see it. It's upside down. But I'd have to say that that experiment was a success. My wife likes this rock just where it is. It kind of makes the reason for that tree growing the way it is look that way. And I just want to know what you guys' opinion is of that. Where would it have rolled off of? I'm going to have to build a mountain next to it. Well, what do you think of that moss? Here's a little update on my Dawn Redwood trees. The ones that I put in the pond baskets. It's so hard to see. Being overtaken by my blueberry, which I'm stumped on because I want to do something with it. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> and my wife is really waiting for these blueberries. This is a maple that I pruned up some months back. I think it looks good. The leaves are ragged. Sunburn, I'm sure. This is an Eastern Red Cedar that I have a bunch of that are straight with very little foliage on them. So I thought I'd try a uh, a severe bend as tight as I could get it with, with the largest um, diameter wire that I had. There's a little elm forest there. It's kind of an accidental elm forest. It's very sparse and immature and needs some work. Here's that Turingo crab apple that I just updated. Everything looks good. It looks like it's ready to shoot out some growth. It just has not yet. There's that cherry come persimmon come something else. I'm leaning toward cherry. I have a couple of Eastern Red Cedars this one was a fusion project that worked. I probably should have left them bound together some more. And this was just a clump that worked that I want to add uh, to the Eastern Red Cedar Forest. I was mentioning this to uh, Patricia O'Connor from the bonsai balcony. These are my bald cypress that I grew from seed. These are cuttings that are two years old and are ready to be uh, plucked out of there and put into a slightly bigger oval, slightly more shallow oval pot. I'm very impressed by Patricia's balcony uh, and in particular, the uh, the common ball cypress. All right, so I haven't wanted to update you on this guy, but uh, my Mugo Pine Esta Muerte. I'm not moving it yet because I'm in denial. Here are my wisteria. The one from a root cutting, the one from a seed in the neighborhood, the other one from a root cutting. This one, nothing is happening, but in the one next to it, I've got two different variety 
they're the same, but uh, different from what I have of wisteria. Continuing on an update, um, I have the continuing struggle with what to do with my lantana. There's some nice trunks here, and I've seen some such beautiful lantana bonsai because it blooms beautifully. More updates, okay. This is another, I think, success with moss as ground cover, taking the place of a lawn. I haven't done much with this yet. Uh, if you can see, the forest is quite overgrown. Been struggling with when to have the time to do this. I think it has to come up soon but everything is growing beautifully. I have the pot tilted up a bit uh, to help with the drainage, which is helping. Um, I'll get to this soon. Nothing with the Catoni Aster yet, but I'm dreaming about that beautiful, beautiful trunk. More Dawn Redwoods <laughs> that have gone into uh, just a state of um, neglect, but uh, I think they're still doing well. You saw Central Park yesterday. Here's uh, this is this is good. There is some nice growth happening on my ginkgo. See that little leaf coming out there. Um, this Alberta spruce still needs a hair transplant. This Satsuki Azalea, Satsuki Azalea. I really have to think about the design. It is as healthy as healthy can be. Didn't bloom much this year. This is a late bloomer. Its parent tree is still in bloom now, just dropping its foliage. All right, this is my enigmatic pond experiment. As you can see, some critter likes to dig. There's a very big root that has been uh, exposed. And that was gonna be my pond. Um, I've had some good suggestions of, uh, of better thoughts. Uh, the tree is doing phenomenally well. And a little windswept Catoni Aster back in there. also doing well with the lantana flower on top of it. I've got to wire that tree at some point. That's a simple job, just haven't gotten to it. And my lovely Alberta spruce, the one I really like with the need to straighten this out a bit. I don't think I need to go crazy. I can fix it all at the top. And one more tree to update you with. This update will be coming next, probably. I've moved that out in front of the greenhouse so I don't forget about it. It's my privet, my ligastrum. It is in bloom. The flowers are, I wouldn't say beautifully fragrant, but they're fragrant. Oh, and I have other trees. These are my little hosta that were grown in a, a swampy seed tray. I 
moved them out here yesterday. This is my Texas Ebony that has had a slow start. But as you can see, it's getting new growth pretty much everywhere, but very slow. All the light green. And, okay, this is turning into a forest that I really, really like. It's my Jacaranda forest. Pardon the neighborhood noise. It is so lush, and it always is. I'm gonna let it grow for quite a while, because I see some this area to lignify before I trim back to it. This is my one and only ficus, which I'm going to reorient, kind of like that, right now. <laughs> it's really dumb looking, and I keep trying to aim it toward the sun so that when I do make the change, the foliage is... Uh, Cooperating, I think it will. It needs some trimming back. There is a little Japanese holly. Here's some accent foliage, some small fern, which I want to use with my ball cypress. And some other seedlings I have. These are the honey locust. Quite a few of them. And I think that completes the tour. I showed you my ginkgos the other day.